Hello everyone! In this video, I will share some guidelines on how to water your succulents. So, your picture po na nakikita ninyo is the before and after watering um, my succulent. So, it's just for uh, two days. So, ito po yung mga pictures ng succulents ko na may signs of dehydration. First sign is wrinkled yung leaves nila or kulubot. For the second one, sa rosette, makikita nyo po na medyo closed yung rosette niya at saka wrinkled din yung kanya mga leaves. And then, yung iba naman, numinipis yung leaves nila and then yung iba, medyo lumalaylay. And also, pag mabilis po na nadadry yung leaves sa bottom part ng plant, ibig sabihin, kailangan na nila ng tubig kasi doon na sila kumukuha ng um, water to sustain the needs of the plant. Here are the factors to consider in watering your succulent. First is yung location. Is it too hot in your area? Or nasa highland ba kayo? Or lowland? So, pag nasa highland kayo, syempre, mas malamig doon. So, mas matagal bago nyo madiligan yung um, succulents nyo. While in lowland, na alam naman natin sobrang init, so, mas mabilis mag dry yung um, medium natin. So, mas madalas din ang dilig. The next factor is sun exposure. So, uh, kung yung succulent nyo ba ay naka full sun, which receives 6 to 8 hours direct sunlight a day, or partial sun, which is 4 to 5 hours direct sunlight a day, partial shade, uh, 2 to 4 hours direct sun a day, or full shade, 1 hour direct sun a day. So, syempre, mas um, exposed sa sunlight, mas mabilis matiyo yung medium natin. Kaya, mas madalas din yung pagdidilig. Next factor is the pot size. The rule of the thumb na I follow in choosing size of the pot is dapat 2 inches bigger in diameter sa root ball ng plant. Kasi, mas maliit na pot, mas mabilis mag-dry yung media. Pag malaki kasi, mas matagal mag-dry, mas prone sa root rot yung succulents natin. Also, yung kind of pot nyo has a big factor din. Like for example, yung clay pots, mas mabilis siyang mag-dry kesa sa mga ceramic or plastic pots. The next factor is the kind of succulent or yung the type. We know that succulents are drought tolerant plants. Pero meron din namang iba na gusto talaga ng water like itong De La Sperma Ice Plant. Mas madalas ko siyang diligan kesa sa ibang succulents ko. Usually, nagdidilig ako ng once a week pero for this plant, every after 3 days. One of the most important factor din yung medium or yung soil mix na ginagamit natin. Always remember na the more organic materials sa medium, the slower siyang mag -dry. Example of organic materials are compost, cocoa peat, vermicast, rice hull, or yung ipa. On the other hand, the more inorganic materials, the faster it dries up. Example of inorganic materials are yung pumice, yung lava rock or yung scoria and sand. So, ito po yung Delosperma ice plant. As you can see, medyo laylay na po yung lower leaves niya at saka po wrinkled siya. Ito po yung uh, succulent ko na gusto niya ng water. So, every, uh, every three days ko po siyang dinidiligan. Here's uh, how I water my succulents. I do the deep watering and dry method. I make sure na nadidiligan pati yung bottom part para maabot lahat ng roots. And then, let it dry. 
let it completely dry, dry bago diligan ulit. So, ito na siya after 2 days. As you can see, medyo unmark na yung lower leaves niya. And then, hindi na masyadong lingkong. So, I do the deep watering technique kasi pag kulang yung dilig niya, ang cause nun, dadami yung fibrous roots nila. Ito yung roots na shallow, yung maninip, sobrang ninipis. Sila kasi yung humahanap ng source of water. So, okay naman sila, pero mas aim natin na ma-develop yung main root uh, ng plant. Kasi dito lumalabas yung mga branch roots at saka pailalim yung tubo niya. And then, mas ito yung nag-hold ng plants kaysa sa mga fibrous roots. So here is my wrinkled grapto petalum mendoza. And ito na siya after 2 days. So as you can see, hindi na ganun ka wrinkled yung lower leaves niya. Ayan, medyo na, um tumaba na siya ng konti. Ito naman yung before and after nung Graptopetalo Mirene. Here is the before and after of my Crasula Tomta. So, ito naman po yung Echeveria. Um, hindi ako talaga sure kung anong exact ID niya, pero uh, uh, I think it's Echeveria Fiona. Pero kung sino po yung nakakaalam, kindly comment down below. Thank you! Remember, if nag-schedule kayo ng watering, considering the factors na nasabi na natin kanina, tandaan nyo na kung ilang days yung lumipas bago mag-dry completely yung soil. Um to check, check it after uh, 5 days kasi for sure, hindi pa naman siya complete to die after 3 days so uh, check nyo siya stick in your finger or kaya yung regular stick, if completely die na siya, pwede nyo na siyang diligan if not uh, then wait for another 2 days Better to water the succulents late in the afternoon or at night kasi mas active sila sa, sa gabi and then, para maiwasan na rin yung masunod yung, yung leaves nila if accidentally natin na malagyan or matuluan ng, ng water yung leaves. So, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And please subscribe. See you on my next video. Thanks!